Welcome back to DIY Willie. And in this episode today, we're getting back to the mini bike. Uh, got a few things for the engine. Let's take a look. Look at all this. This is all for Mighty. Got a good shot of Mighty right there. And look at all those parts, man. We're gonna be ripping the engine apart. Taking the engine out of Mighty, putting a billet rod in. We got new cylinder head studs. We got Champion Roller Rockers. Uh, we got the new, uh, I think it's a 22 millimeter carburetor with intake from Go Power Sports. Got a nice little valve cover. Nice performance coil and coil wire. The new axle we needed for the front. The billet flywheel. There's the head studs. I mean, this is really gonna help out Mighty. Yeah, I'm excited to do this build. I've never put a rod in before, so this is gonna be all, be all new to me. So here we go, all right. All right, so now that we gotta look at all the parts we're gonna put in, let's take a quick look at Mighty again. I got a few things I need to do and a few changes I need to make. So one, I never, I never finished the install of the gas tank. So I've gotta weld this bracket and I've gotta make one for the front get rid of this zip tie now the reason I'm doing all this not only is to finish the project but also this thing is headed for the desert and uh, we'll see how well it does out there in the desert I think it'll have enough horsepower for it and it's small enough but I don't know about these tires if they're gonna be aggressive enough to handle the sand and glamis or not but anyway we'll get it out there and we'll give it a shot but we gotta permanently mount the gas tank I gotta put some zip ties on the on the cabling instead of tape like this, especially on the brake cable. I never got a chance to change the brake hose yet to the uh, shorter one, but I'll do that after it comes from the desert. I wanna put some more weld on the brake caliper bracket to make sure it doesn't go anywhere. And uh, obviously the, the work we're gonna do the engine. Also, I'm gonna put a filler plate right here. I don't want people to grab it here and break the seat. Also, because it's going to the desert, it needs a whip. So I'm gonna make Oh, those birds. I'm going to make a mount that comes off this way, weld it to the frame on the bottom side, and uh, we'll put a whip right there. So, uh, yeah. Now all I got to do is get started. I basically got three days to do this, and, uh, well, I got to get going on it. I have a new chain. I see this chain has got a kink right there. I have a new chain. I'll go ahead and put the new chain on it, too. Get rid of that old chain I was using in the golf cart. I never did tell you I put the suspension on it, but it's definitely going to help. It will definitely help in the desert. And I've got the longer axle so that the bolts protrude through the, the nut. And uh, got the phone mount on there. Yeah, this thing is nice. So, okay, I guess uh, time to get going on that build. So here we go. Time to take it apart. We got the carburetor to come off. We got the engine top plate to come off. We need to clean it up anyway. Uh, we got the uh, fan shroud to come off and uh, the torque converter. And that we can drain the oil and start disassembling the engine. Let's go. This assembly is coming along pretty good on this one. Uh, take the flywheel off now. I know there's a lot of videos on out there about building this motor, but you know, everybody wants to see it. There we go. Now this motor used to have a charging system on it, and uh, when it had the electric start. I'm gonna miss the charging system. It was it was pretty handy, you know. But with the billet flywheel, I mean, it's a lot lighter than that one. 
That thing's a heavy piece. Okay, let's now let's get the oil drained and uh, get the side cover open. All right. Okay, so I've got it all apart now. And uh, it actually looks really clean inside. Let me see, I don't know if you can see that. Let me go light. Wow, it actually looks really clean inside. I'm surprised. We've always used Royal Purple on this engine from the beginning. And uh, we only recently started using that ethanol free fuel, or excuse me, methanol free fuel. So it should be burning cleaner. Head doesn't look that bad either. You know? A little bit of carbon buildup on the exhaust on the intake valve. The exhaust valve looks good, but that's gonna get hot enough to burn it off. So all, all in all, it looks really good. You know, it's really clean inside. I'm surprised. I'll go ahead and clean up the combustion chamber, clean the valves. Wire brush them real good. I'm going to try to lap them again just to make sure they seal really nice. You can tell it was running kind of rich. A lot of carbon buildup on that. I believe that's a sign of running rich. But overall, the engine is really clean. Uh, the belt was shedding a little bit. I see there's bits and pieces of rubber on the case. And uh, was on the uh, torque converter as well. You can see we've already got the governor removed. On both sides, even took the, the pin out of it, put a bolt in. The oil sensor is out. And uh, yeah, now we're just gonna split the case, get it open, and get it all cleaned up. Get the rod out, take the crank out. I gotta get some of that, uh, that uh, plastic gauge so I can check the gap on, or the oil gap on the rod and the, and, and the crank. And yeah, we'll start assembly once it's all cleaned up. I bought one of those uh, portable parts cleaning tubs that goes on the five gallon bucket. I'm gonna use some simple green, a brush, and just brush all these parts clean. I mean, everything looks really good. You can even see the cross bore on the cylinder. The hone is nice. This little motor's been a good motor. All right, let me uh, get that case open and get it all cleaned up. So I bought this Aries portable parts washer to uh, clean up the engine. And this is what it looks like. Got a new five gallon bucket, sits in there. Pump is down at the bottom, cord comes out. There's a couple places for the cord to come out of the, the side. And uh, I'll fill it up with simple green and some water and see how it goes. All right, it's the next day. I've got the parts, uh, the majority of the parts I'm gonna use cleaned up, ready to go. And it's time now to install the new rod from ARC. Uh, this will be the first time I put a rod in these types of engines. I've got the cylinder all clean and oiled so that it won't rust. The head, I wanna do some more clean up on it. But uh, yeah, I need to have this reassembled today and running because this is uh, Wednesday, the day before Thanksgiving. And uh, this thing's leaving Friday morning for a trip to the desert. So, uh, <laughs> I've never quite put one together quite so fast. We'll see how we do, get it to run. So I've got to do the rod here. I picked up a Craftsman quarter inch 12 point socket. Uh, should do the job just right. Yeah, fits perfect. All right, let's get on that. Bike, shut up. So after you install the bearings, first thing you want to do is torque the cap down so that the bearings get perfectly seated where they need to be. And uh, you know, the, the process goes, put a little bit of 30 weight on the bolt and tighten it. and then run them down according to instructions. Instructions say torque them to 60 foot pound, or excuse me, torque them to 60 inch pounds, and then uh, 
20 pound increments till then rotating each bolt 20 pound inch pounds until you reach 150 well it's 150 with with uh, uh, assembly lube and it's 170 inch pounds with oil I'm using 30 weight oil so I'll go to 170 I don't know if you can see it but I had to clearance around the side of, of the crank journal and then try to polish it out a little bit because uh, it was too tight on the sides of the rod it wouldn't turn so uh, yeah I hope this works out a little Dremel machinery and uh, 2000 grit sandpaper to polish a journal we'll see what happens Here's Mighty all finished, ready for the desert trip. Got the carburetor on, got some bling under there. Billet flywheel's in there, you can't really see it. Billet rod is installed. The tank mounts are all welded 100%. Added this just for uh, venting because this has a vent hole. So I didn't want to just have a hose and allow dirt or sand to get in there. So. I got a filter on there to still allow it to vent, but it will uh, not let dirt in. Uh, brakes are good to go. Welded a plate to fill this in so you're not grabbing the seat, you're grabbing the back bar. Uh, welded a whip mount on. Got the whip in there. Looking good. I put the uh, juggernaut clutch inside. Ready to rip, ready to go. The longer 11 inch axle on the front. And boy, does it rip. It's ready to go. So uh, yeah, this thing's gonna go play in the desert for a while. <laughs> 